Now that you have ensured that your Chrome OS is up to date and that your Chrome OS version number is greater than 68, you are ready to enable Linux. Linux is already in your Chromebook or Chromebox, but it's not yet in a usable state. The enabling process makes Linux available to you for use. This is probably the longest of the videos in this series, time-wise, but it requires the least amount of input from you because Chrome OS does all of the work. Let's get started. First, click the time to open the pop-up menu. Then click the gear icon to open the settings window. Next, select advanced from the left panel, panel, panel menu, and then Developers. Under Linux Development Environment, click Turn On. Then click Next. Either accept or change the default username. The, this is the username you want to use in Linux. I'm going to change mine to Brook. I will go with the default 10 gigabyte storage space, which is probably enough for most people. You can always change it later if you need more. Click Install and wait for the process to complete, which will take a few minutes. When it completes, the Linux terminal window will be displayed. So the progress bar indicates that we're about halfway through the installation process. It just took a jump. We're almost finished. Okay, there's the terminal window. So the process has completed. Before you do anything else, right-click the terminal icon and on the shelf and select PIN from the pop-up menu. If you don't pin the terminal to the shelf before you close its window, you will have to search for it the next time you want to use it. The version of Linux that you just enabled is certainly out of date. To remedy that, click the terminal window and enter the following three commands, one at a time, hitting the Enter key after each command. And be prepared to type Y for Yes several times to continue. sudo apt update okay next one is sudo, sudo apt upgrade And there I'm required to type Y to continue. The pound signs represent a primitive progress bar.
We're about half finished with this step. Okay, two down, one to go. Pseudo app dist upgrade. Dist stands for distribution. So, we're finished. Now that Crustini Linux is up to date, you are ready to move to the next video in which I will demonstrate how to install a Linux file manager.